the Haunted Mansion comes to your house in a very clever way today. We have Disneyland type detail that will give you just the right Halloween ambiance. We are making moody, spooky, flickering lights from upcycled materials. It's a project that will bring the oohs and ahs. Designer of Festival Transylvania at Mill Creek Gardens, Chad Evans is here. He is dressed up. He just doesn't dress like this all the time. And you designed this kid-friendly haunted walk I've been, but what do you have new this year? This year, it's a lot of fun. This year in Festival Transylvania at Mill Creek Gardens, we're celebrating Dracula's 777th birthday. Who knew? So all the characters of Transylvania are excited to celebrate with him, but wouldn't you know it, Captain Blackbeard is sailing in to crash the party. Oh, 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 we got an actor on our hands, everybody. Okay, so, you, so you're adding that and you're adding pirates, too. We're adding some pirate elements this year, and these lanterns are a great way to to make the ambiance more spooky and mysterious. Yeah, it's one of those great um, places to take kids because it is a little scary, but it's not too scary. And so that's what I liked about bringing my um, little yeah. nephews that they could handle it. It wasn't something that was too scary. And lots of like hands-on stuff there, which I really liked. Let's talk about these lanterns that are so fun. It looks like you have a wide variety mm -hmm. of lanterns, and I can't imagine how amazing these are at night. Yeah. I mean, cool in the day, just mm -hmm. right here, right. but talk about what they look like at night. Yeah, at night, these lanterns really bring, bring Transylvania to life. We brought in a pirate ship for this season. We brought in a pirate ship cabin that travelers get to venture through, and at night, these lanterns create a wonderful ambiance. There's a scene when Captain Blackbeard appears and the fog rolls in and these blue lanterns really create a, a neat effect. Okay, so let's talk about where you kind of got all these ideas mm -hmm. for the lanterns. Cause like this looks like I could find it in a home decor store, this yeah. cute green one, but where are you picking up all these lanterns? Yeah. I'm always on the lookout for lanterns. Um, I like to scour Deseret Industries and Goodwill and Savers and consignment stores have, have a fun assortment and some of them I, I find online and, and just everywhere I'm looking I'm always trying to find one. Can I show you one of my favorites? Please do. This, this is, one on the end? Yeah, this one on the end is one of my favorites. My brother was replacing the lamppost in his front yard and he knew I'm fascinated by lanterns, so he dropped off the lamppost and said, do whatever you want with it. <laughs> so I took off the lamp and I removed the electrical wiring and I modified it with a handle and then I just insert a lamp similar to this and you can see it's kind of a timeless attractive lantern. Yeah, I mean, it looks quality, kind of like lead glass or something. I wanted to, you to talk about these things that you're yeah. putting inside the lanterns because I have lanterns on my mm -hmm. front porch. I was just using those ki kind of candles that are electric, but I found they ran out really fast and they kind of corroded fast, but I've never seen la lights like these. Tell me about them. Yeah, I like these a lot. They're very versatile, they're rechargeable, the charge lasts for 10 to 15 hours. You can get them in multiple colors. And another thing that's pretty cool about them, they're remote control. So if you have them out on your porch, you can just open the door and say like Harry Potter, yeah. Lumos, <laughs> and they turn on and off. And I even have a muggle friend that has tried it and it even and it worked, worked for him for too. Them too. Yeah. And does the same remote work for all of them? Mm, or just the one. same remote works for many of them, okay. but this one, for example, uses a different remote, but it, they're pretty universal. Give me a quick rundown real quick of where you found each of these in case people, okay. like I was saying, this is the one that looks like yeah. maybe you could just find it at a home goods yeah. store, not to mention a specific name. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Well, I will mention a specific name. Okay. I got this particular one at a consignment store in Sugar House Lovely. called Home Again. Yes, An love adorable it. store. What about this one that's nautical? This one I got at Pier 1 Imports, I remember, and as you can see, it fits the pirate theme just perfectly. Yeah, and that looks like something you could actually even make. Yeah, and you mentioned true. this blue light, yeah. and is that coming from the light inside or the glass? The glass is blue. This one is called a Moroccan lantern, and they are a popular item that I've found multiple styles of on Amazon. And the flame light itself is also blue. I love that. And then you talked about the one from your brother, and then what about this one right here? Yeah, this one I got at DI, and it's one of my favorites too. And I just want to demonstrate that uh, okay, that I simply wrapped the glow, the glow bulb in cellophane. So then you can 
decorate it for a different color for, I mean, you could see how this would work for Christmas or a wedding or, or any occasion. Yeah, thanks for that decorating mm -hmm. tip. Now, okay, so it looks like we could maybe handle doing these on our own, but you have another DIY mm -hmm. that you're saying any yeah. of us can do, like even starters. That's right, okay. yeah. I'd like to demonstrate making an attractive sign slash design that lights from the back using an old clock. Mm -hmm. And I think, honestly, a lot of us have old clocks lying around. Mm -hmm. I do. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is the old clock we're going to This is an old clock apart, that can maybe. be modified and be taken apart to, to create the sign. So maybe look for kind of a cool surround or something. Yeah, there's such character. And Deseret Industries Goodwill are loaded with old clocks with tons of character. I bet, I bet. And they only cost like $5. The project I'm going to demonstrate costs about a total of $10. Okay, awesome. So I wanna just demonstrate this sign here. Festival Transylvania at Mill Creek Gardens. It's very easy to take apart a clock. That pop just, that part just popped out. You pop out. it off, you might have to take apart a few screws. You're left with a glass face. And then and you just spray painted that it looks like. I just spray painted okay. that. I spray painted it on the back. I used a lime green and a dark blue to kind of give it a kind of a tie-dyed effect. Mm -hmm, some depth, nice. And then this is the rear panel, and you can see I didn't do a great job. A kindergartner <laughs> could do this, and a kindergartner might by, be insulted by me saying that. <laughs> but anyway, just duct tape and just attach a fairy, your fairy light. I just brought. I'm sure your viewers know what fairy lights yes. are, but. They're very versatile as well, and I use them with all sorts of decorating in Transylvania as well. So easy, and you could put any sort of vinyl on here, yeah. your family name, whatever, yeah. something spooky, yeah. and then just pop it right back on. That's you right, have yeah. That is so. And then so you pop that right on, and there's nothing to it. And I, I just have to point out over here, this over here, the fairy light mm -hmm. that you've turned Halloween. Mm -hmm. Like, that's yeah. something we could all do, just take stuff we already have and turn it Halloween. That's right, yeah. It's funny you mention that because that birdhouse was in our backyard for 10 years and only recently did we convert it into a fairy house. Okay. And it's upcycled and it's it's very cute. Do you do that for every yeah. holiday or just Halloween? Um, mostly <laughs> Halloween. Okay. I love it, I love it. Tell people how they can come and see all the fun things you have at Milk Creek yeah. Gardens. I'd love to invite everyone to come explore Festival Transylvania at Milk, at Milk Creek Gardens. It's an immersive, family-friendly fairy tale adventure through Transylvania. You'll meet a fun Dracula, you'll meet Frankenstein and other endearing Transylvania characters. It's not spooky, it's wholesome. Mm -hmm. You can bring your whole family. And talk to me about hours. Is this just nighttime or can you go in the day? It's open at 6.30. And we're open nightly through the 29th. We're closed on Sunday and Tuesday. And it's also inexpensive. It's less than $10. It's a great value. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. I'll tell you, it's a fun time. Take your kids.